Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are at a Walgreens. We are here to do some deals for the week of the 30th through the 5th of February. February already, wow. But anyways, we have a spend booster today of spend 60, get back $15 in Walgreens cash. And what I am doing today is I'm going to pair that with a paper booster. I'm going to build up my transaction and then I'm gonna use the pay in store option so that I can use Walgreens cash. And it's gonna all be really, really cheap. So what I want to do is I want to come back on Tuesday, my typical Walgreens filming day. And I wanna show you the other option with another spend 60, get back $15 in Walgreens cash without building up the transaction and not using Walgreens cash to pay, but paying out of pocket a higher amount to get a better money maker. And then I wanna see you know, what you guys like better. So hopefully you'll watch both of those videos and give me some feedback on that. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. I am Sarah and I'd like to show you how to save money any way that I can. So let's go inside and see what we can do. So the first thing we're gonna do is some Revlon and my store isn't tagged, but these are on a promotion where you spend 15, you get back $5 and register rewards. You can use Walgreens cash to pay for this. I love that color right there. So these are on sale for $10 a piece. So grabbing two of them is going to equal out to $20. But then I have a super high value 10 off of two digital coupon that they gave me. So then we're gonna pay $10. We'll get back a $5 register reward. But then we're going to submit our receipt to Ibotta. I still have the Revlon lip rebates on my account. So what I will do is I will get back $7 on Ibotta five for one of the lip crayons and two for one of the other ones. So then that is going to make both of these free and a $2 money maker. When I submitted my receipt this morning, I did have the Revlon lip products still available on my account. If you do not, it is still a really good deal, but since they were available on my account still, I wanted to show you guys. So next we're gonna do a deal on the Nivea Shave Cream and Foam. These are a monthly deal and they are buy two get back $5 in Walgreens cash and they are also 10% off. So if you get the ones that are for $3.49, they will ring up for $3.19. So we are gonna grab two of those and that is gonna equal out to $6.28. So then, I totally didn't realize this, but we have an insert coupon from the one 30 save that is two off of two. So then that's gonna bring your total down to $4.28. We're gonna get back $5 in Walgreens cash, making these free and a 72 cent money maker. Now the other ones, the gels, those actually have Ibotta rebates, but I just went with this one to make it easier on myself. So next I'm gonna grab some L'Oreal products. I have a very high value $12 off coupon for cleansers and you're gonna to wanna to grab two of them. That way you can take advantage of this coupon because your products need to equal out to $12. So I grabbed these two items here. They are attaching to that coupon. So these are going to equal out to $15.48. That $12 coupon will come off, making both of those $3.48. Now I could grab another item and I didn't do that just because I have a lot of items like this at home and I'm going to be grabbing more skincare as well. So this is just something that we are adding to our transaction to bulk it up and to use that really high value coupon to help lower our out of pocket. So then we're gonna grab the Cetaphil and we're gonna grab the wipes. They're $7 and 49 cents a piece. We're gonna grab three of them because this month skincare is buy to get the third one free. So this will equal out to $14.98 for the three of them. So then what we're going to do is we are going to use some high value coupons. And that's kind of the theme here is we're picking items that have high value coupons. So we're going to use this five off of two and this two off of one. These insert coupons here, I'm not sure what insert they are from. I can put it down below here but the $5 one will attach to one, and then the $2 off of one will attach to another one, and then that is gonna bring our total down to $7.98 for the three of them. But then we have Ibotta rebates. We're gonna submit our receipt to Ibotta, and we're gonna get back $1.50 on each one of them. 
making them $3.48 for all three packs of wipes. And I think that is a really good deal. And I really like these wipes. So then next we're going to do an easy deal. And it is on the Pantene. The Pantene is three for $12 or $4 a piece. And they're a buy three, get back a $5 register reward. And we have a five off of three digital coupon. And I am using that. The less coupons I have to cut out, the better. So then that's going to bring our total down to $7. We'll get back that $5 register reward, making it $2 for three of them, or about 67 cents a piece. Next, we're gonna do the Colgate Sensitive, and I'm so excited about this deal. So these are on sale for $4.99, and they're buy two, get back $6 in register rewards. So the two of these are gonna equal out to $9.98, but we got a nice four off two digital coupon this morning in our app. So clip that, and that's gonna bring your total down to $5.98 but then you'll get back $6 in register rewards, making both of these free. And this is a staple in my house, so I'm definitely grabbing these for free. Even if they were the regular price that I thought they were gonna be uh, for 99 cents this week for each one, I would have gotten it anyways. So next we're just gonna grab something that's gonna fill in our transaction a little bit. We're gonna grab the Compede. These are $9.99 and we have a $4 off insert coupon that we can use on this. And then we're gonna submit our receipt to Ibotta and get back $4 on Ibotta as well. That's just kind of to use this $4 uh, coupon to help pay for our spend part of our booster. Then we're gonna do the Tide. And I'm excited about this deal. So these are on sale for $11.99 and they're buy two, get back $6 in register rewards. So I'm going to get this thing of Tide Pods right here for $11.99. And then I'm going to get a Tide Liquid. I'm going to get the Oxy. I would get the Hygienic Clean, but sometimes that gives me issues. So I will do the Oxy. So that's going to bring our total up to $23.98. We are going to be using some insert coupons from the February P&G. Just a $2 one for the pods and a $2 for the liquid. That will bring our total down to $19.98. But then we are going to get back that $6 register reward making these a final cost of about $13.98 for both of them. So this is everything that I'm getting in my transaction. Super happy with everything. I'm gonna use this paper booster right here as well so that my total for everything is going to be even cheaper. So let's go out to the car and see how everything went. All right guys, so we are back in from Walgreens and everything went great. I didn't have a problem with my digital coupons. I didn't have an issue with any of my register rewards. Um, yeah, I didn't have an issue at all with anything. So what I want to talk about first is that when you buy two items of anything in the store, you're getting back a register reward. Now, of course, that's a glitch and I don't know how long that will last because it is an obvious error. So I'm sure managers have already alerted corporate and corporate is scrambling to fix that because they would lose out on a lot of money. Now, there's store register rewards and I'm not typically fond of those because I just think they're harder to work into a transaction and I typically don't use them on things like this. What I normally do is I'll run in here and I'll grab like a thing of toilet paper or I'll grab, I don't know, I'll just grab something, you know what I mean, that we need. Um, I'll grab, oh, one thing I grab is, uh, I'll grab like a drink and I'll grab like a thing of the small things of uh, bags, trash bags. So anyways, um, that's what I typically do with those. Here's a question that you can answer for me in the comments. Are you guys liking the store register rewards because like I'm not negative and if you like something that's totally fine with me they're just not for me anyways let's talk about the transactions shall we so I made a mistake but if you don't make this mistake you can get everything that I got today for under a dollar under a dollar and I think that is really incredible are you kidding me I got these big things of Tide Pods you know, for just a few cents. So anyways, or you would, I didn't because I'm, I'm silly. So, so the paper booster I had was actually a really old one. I didn't realize that. So my nice new ones that aren't expired are at home in my drawer. So like I said, I built up my transaction. And the reason why I did that was I wanted to use the amount of my coupons as my cash. So 
the amount of coupons I had was $46 and I needed to spend in Walgreens system $60. So with the coupons I used, I spent 46. So the remaining amount that I needed to spend was $14 out of my own pocket. So between the cash that you pay out of your own pocket, plus the amount of coupons you have, have to equal the amount of your booster. So I was $14.69 in cash that I paid, and then the coupons paid the other portion of it. So typically when we have a spend 20, get back $5 in Walgreens cash, we get our total up to $20. We use some coupons, we pay the remaining amount because that remaining amount that you pay plus the amount of your coupons equal to $20, you still get that money back. You know what I mean? So my total after coupons was $64.69. I used $50 in Walgreens cash to help lower my out of pocket. And without tax, my out of pocket was $14.69. Of course I had to pay tax and it took my total up to like $21. But $14 to get all of this isn't bad, but then you get back all of those register rewards and the Walgreens cash and things like that. So you want to go with your $64.69, so you got back $20 in Walgreens cash, or I did, not you, $15 for the booster and $5 for the Nivea, $22 in register rewards, and I got all my register rewards. I got my $5 for the Revlon, then I got the $5 store register reward for the Pantene, I got a $6 register reward for the Tide, and I got back a $6 register reward for the Colgate, which I'm super happy about that. Then I got back $17.50 on Ibotta. I got $2 for each of the Revlon lipsticks, plus I got $5 back for getting the matte light lipstick, or whatever you wanna call that. $4 for the Compete, and then $1.50 three times for the Cetaphil, bringing my total down to $5.19. And I think that's crazy to get that much at Walgreens for $5.19. Now, if my paper booster wasn't expired, then it wouldn't have been 19 cents for me. It would have been a money maker still. So the reason why I wanna do this again, and I will pay the out of pocket to show you guys, is just like, what, what would be better to do? Would it be better to pay more out of pocket to get a money maker or would it be better to pay less out of pocket to get more items super super cheap i got 17 items for five bucks i'm really really happy with that now granted if i did the little bit of a scenario like i showed you earlier it would be like a ten dollar money maker but i would have to have paid 45 dollars out of my own pocket to get that so i don't know i really don't know I don't care either way because <clears throat> this is my job, but as you guys, as the con general consumers, you know, you're not a YouTuber that shows deals. What do you like? So I know I've gone on and on about that. So let's look at the receipt. I almost forgot about that. And I've been forgetting about that. I'm so sorry. I'm a terrible teacher. All right, so here is my receipt. Now, since I didn't get an additional skincare item, it paired up my L'Oreal with the Cetaphil instead. And that's totally fine. The, one of the Cetaphil was gonna be free anyways. So there is the Tide. There is the Pantene. There is the Nivea. As you can see here, it's $3.49 in store. And with the 10% discount, it's like $3.14. Then the Revlon is on sale for $10 a piece. Super good deal there. Then we have the Colgate, the other Cetaphil, another L'Oreal product, and my Compete. So here's all my coupons. The Tide, the Tide Liquid, the Compete, the Cetaphil, the Nivea, this right here is my L'Oreal coupon. Then there is $10 for the Revlon. That's 10 off of two, that's a really good deal. Uh, the Pantene, and then the four off two new digital for the Colgate. And there is my total there. And there is where I spent $50 in Walgreens cash. But then here's the kicker. Where's it at? Oh my gosh. I got back, earned this visit, $20 in Walgreens cash 
and I redeemed $50. Alright guys, so that is everything. I hope this video was informative and helpful for you. Please let me know if you have any questions down below. I do want to make a specific video for this. I know there are other videos out there that other people have done that do explain this, but I would like to make a video just for reference when I'm talking about it. That way I can go, yep, just click right up here to watch it and you can hear me explain it and all that jazz. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are at Walgreens and we are here for... <sighs> huh.